Hey you guys, so today I wanted to film a video using the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation. Now this was all the rage two or three years ago. The internet exploded with this exact product. So now this product was mainly used in the broadcasting industry. A lot of people that are TV personalities wore this because it is so high coverage and it looks so beautiful underneath lights. Now I'm not sure I would recommend this for everyday wear because it is oily and it does feel very heavy and cakey on your skin. But after seeing a lot of acne prone people post about it, their before and after pictures, I'll show you some right here, people do half of their face with this. And it reminded me a lot of the cover effects power of makeup, right? So this is also intended to cover up any tattoos, any scarring, etc. I really love high coverage foundations. But when I first put this on, it was extremely heavy on my skin and you can definitely tell that I was wearing foundation, especially today. But I have rediscovered it in my beauty kit and I wanted to go ahead and solely use this foundation on its own. So let's jump into the video. I'm gonna go in with my Hangover RX primer and I'm just gonna prime my face. It comes in a pump so I just squirted like two pumpfuls and I'm just gonna mix this into my skin. So as you can tell, this tube is a gold and right across it, it says makeup cover. This product is produced in Prague, Czech Republic. That is one of the main reasons why I wanted to go out and get this product. Now that I've primed my face and my skin, I'm just gonna put my hair back. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit out of this squeezy tube because a little bit goes a long way. And as you guys can tell, this is definitely not my shade match. It is quite quite pale and it's got a little pink undertone. So we'll see how this wears. So I did just dot some product all over my face and I'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge. Also, it is completely different shade than me. So it kind of does look like I'm putting on a mask, but. We'll try to blend it out the best we can. The formula of this is very oily. Now I have combination oily skin. So putting something like this on my face, I don't know. It feels very thick and heavy as well. The retail price point of the foundation is between eight to $10, but whenever it became really popular a couple years ago, Amazon and eBay and all those places jacked up the prices and I want to say it was up to like 15 20 bucks at one point in time This in Europe is considered a drugstore brand just an FYI. I Think I saw Taylor Wynn do a review of this foundation first and she had Acne at the time and it covered her acne so well now. I haven't really been breaking out a lot I've noticed that the less sugar I eat the less I'm prone to breaking out. And by no means is this a natural finish at all. I can definitely tell that I'm wearing something on my skin and it is quite heavy. But we're gonna put on some concealer and do the rest of our makeup and see how it wears. But yeah, if you guys have not checked out Taylor Wynn's foundation videos, where have you been? Uh, she posts all kind of videos on all kinds of different foundations and she also does like a wear test of how they wear throughout the day. It's really interesting. I, I trust all of her reviews, let's say that. I just went in with my Born This Way concealer. I'm in the shade Fairest. I don't love this concealer, but it does a decent job. Can you guys see this right here? I feel like any time I go in with another product or I dab a little bit more, this foundation kind of wipes off in the area that I just went in. So that's also something to be mindful of. And I'm just gonna bake my concealer a little bit like underneath my eyes. And I'm using the, the sponge and just dipping it into my powder. 
Now to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Finishing Powder and kind of blend in the rest of my face, even though you see I'm like red and kind of tan and then my face is pale. That's okay, maybe we can fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin with my favorite Hoola bronzer. It's looking a little bit better already. The foundation itself looks like really pretty in these lights. I don't know about up close though. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Baked Blush in Exposed. This kind of has, I don't know if you can see, like a shiny metallic color to it, but then when you put it on your face, it gives you a really pretty glow. Now for eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go in with one of my MAC palettes. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm gonna use this really light tan shade, and I'm just gonna use that all over my eyelid. Now that I have finished up using this color, I'm probably gonna go in with one of these darker colors right here and just deepen up my the outer part of my crease. Now I just went ahead and just blended it out a little bit because that color was a little too harsh. I guess I didn't tap off my brush enough. So I'm gonna go in and finish off my eyebrows. Please don't judge them. Obviously I can't go and get them threaded right now. And I refuse to do my own eyebrows at home because um, I used to pluck them in like middle school and the beginning of high school. Girl, I can't pluck my own eyebrows. I mean, you know, some people say, oh, make them look like sisters or cousins. Dude, my, my eyebrows look like ex-cousins five times removed. And I make them thin. It's awful. It's terrible. So now they're a little bit too thick for my liking, but, you know, thicker eyebrows are better than no eyebrows. So we're just going to work with what we got. And then I'm going to go in with my Essence Brow Gel and make them all face the same way. To glow up my skin, I'm just using my favorite Wet n Wild highlighting powder and touching the high points of my face. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe off the makeup, the excess makeup that I have. And then I'm gonna go in with the Buxom lipstick in White Russian. It smells like vanilla, it smells so good. I'm gonna go in with our Buxom lip gloss in White Russian as well. By the way, this lip gloss is bomb. The formula is not like super sticky. I don't know, it feels super smooth on the lips. It's really comfortable to wear. And there's like a, like a mint sensation on your lips, so it feels super refreshing. So I like that. And then I'm gonna use my Cover FX setting spray to set my face. And this is the completed look. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks really pretty in these lights. So in conclusion, love this foundation. Don't love wearing it on its own, but definitely love mixing it with my other foundations for higher coverage. And I typically like to put that on my cheek areas because I do have a little bit more pigmentation there. And if I do break out, that's typically where, here and on my forehead. Please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. I definitely have a skincare video on my list of items I want to film, along with a couple of other ideas, but I've been feeling very unmotivated lately and I don't wanna get in front of the camera and film because I have to put out content. As always, you guys, thanks for watching the video and for supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.